everyone, I am David Conley and these are my favorite things. All right. Who is your current favorite speaker? Uh, I think my current favorite speaker is Craig Verschel. Uh, he's very relevant and talks about all the topics that matter. So he's a great speaker. He's one of my favorites. So Craig Verschel. Favorite worship song. All right. So this one's hard because I'm a worship pastor. Uh, probably one of my favorite songs right now is Elevation. Uh, Elevation's new song, Rattle. It's absolutely incredible. Go listen and stream wherever you listen to music because it's great. All right, what is your favorite thing to do during your downtime? All right, so I uh, absolutely love getting out into nature. So I love hiking. Uh, specifically, I love laying in my Inu hammock out in the woods, just taking in God's nature in complete silence and just listening to all the nature around me. All right, favorite restaurant to stop at when traveling. All right, so this has to be Steak and Shake, which we don't really have one in this part of Maryland, but Steak and Shake is by far the best restaurant on earth. Every time I go, I get chili five way and a strawberry milkshake. Just incredible. If you've not had it, you're missing out and it's really sad. Get it in your life. All right, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? All right, when I was 17 years old, my parents surprisingly trusted me enough to leave the country by myself. And I did an internship for an entire summer in Santiago, Chile. Absolutely loved it there. Um, if I could live anywhere in the world, it would probably be there because I love the culture. I love the church I was a part of. Great place. And yeah, I would love to live there. Go to coffee order. All right, hands down, caramel macchiatos. That's it. All right, what is your favorite movie of all time? The Greatest Showman. The Greatest Showman is so good. Great acting, incredible music. Um, I don't know if it's even possible to make a second one, but I pray that they do because I just love that movie. All right, what is one thing you can't leave home without? My coffee. All right, so I'm very stingy with my coffee and I don't like the coffee that's made in our office. So I always make sure to get coffee from home and bring it to work. And if I forget it, I turn it back around and make my coffee at home because I like my coffee a certain way. Strong, pretty much. All right, current Bible passage you've been stuck on lately. All right, it's uh, Isaiah 43, it's either 43, nine or 43, 19. Uh, it's, can you see I'm making a new thing? I'm doing a new thing. Uh, can you not perceive it? Uh, he's bringing water from the dry land, something like that. But it's been uh, great in my life and what I've been going through, seeing that it doesn't matter what life throws at us, God is always doing a new thing in our lives. So. I've been stuck on that lately. All right, who is one person you look up to and why? All right, so obviously both my parents are absolutely incredible, but uh, someone I look up to, uh, his name's Scott Bowman. He is a worship pastor and he was actually also one of my professors at Liberty University. Uh, really spoke into my life. He's a great uh, pastor, great leader, great teacher. And uh, he just really showed me what it's like to be uh, not only extremely talented, but to be humble and to chase God with a true heart of worship. So absolutely love that guy. Uh, Scott Bowman, thank you for uh, just being an inspiration in my life. So yeah. What is the best vacation you've been on? Uh, this is hard. My parents are always really good at doing vacations with our family. Uh, I think one of my favorite vacations was uh, the time that both sides of my family went to Gatlinburg and we stayed in these log cabins and just a great time with my entire family. Uh, I'm a family guy. I love spending time and pretty much doing anything with my family. So that'd be it. What is one thing that has to be in your office at all times? All right, so I actually have two things. So my coffee is one and then a candle. So candles help me concentrate. That's how I made it through my entire master's degree was coffee and candles. Like I burn through candles like there's no tomorrow. So those two things have to be in my office at all times. All right, what are some of your favorite things to do? Uh, some of my favorite things to do is honestly just playing with my guitar, uh, writing new songs when I get the chance. Um, but yeah, I love music, which explains why I'm in worship ministry. All right, what book of the Bible do you love to study? All right, I absolutely love the book of Psalms. Uh, obviously because of the character of David, I was fatuated on this character as a kid because it's my name. Uh, but also because he was characterized as the man after God's own heart. And 
even though he was a sinner, God still loved him. God still used him. And that's what I inspired my life to be like. I wanted to be just like David. I wanted to be a man after God's own heart. So I love Psalms because you see him as a leader, you see him as a sinner, and you see him as a musician, which is what I am. So it's good to see that God still use broken people for his kingdom and for his glory. So those were some of my favorite things. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Be sure to uh, join us this weekend for Ringgold Church Online. You don't want to miss out. Bye, guys.